Hello, in this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of complex numbers basics. Let i be the imaginary unit. Consider the following complex number z equals to the sum of i to the n plus i to the n plus 1 and goes from 1 to 13. What is the real part of z? That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do your calculations correctly, the final answer that you will get will be simply minus 1. Uh, okay, now let us solve the problem. So I want to find the real part of this complex number, so I have to put it in a standard form. So I have to simplify this expression first. So one idea is to factor i to the n out, yes? So this becomes the sum, n goes from 1 to 13. I factor i to the n out, and then from here, 1 is left, from here, i is left. So let me write it as 1 plus i. But now what you see is that this is a factor which does not depend on the counter of the sigma, which is n in this case. This term depends on n, but this term is just a constant number, a constant complex number, which does not depend on n. So I can pull this out from the sigma. And then I have sigma, n goes from 1 to 13, i to the n. But what is this sum? This is a sum, this is a, 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 a geometric progression sum, yes? Why is that? Because let me just copy and paste 1 plus i. Then, if I replace n with 1, I will get i. If I replace n with 2, I get i squared. Replace i with 3, I get n with 3, I will get i cubed. And then I continue until i to the power of 13. So you see, you have a sum, but each term in this sum is obtained from the previous term by being multiplied by i. So that is a geometric sum whose first term is simply i, and the common ratio is also i. So if you use the formula for the sum of a geometric progression, which I will write it here, so s is equal to the first term a, times 1 minus r, the common ratio to power n, divided by 1 minus r. Okay, so I will use this problem. I will use this formula. A is my first term, which is i. r is the common ratio, which accidentally is i again. And n is the number of terms involved. This is from i1 up to i13, one at a time. So n is exactly 13. So, the question mark, z, becomes equal 1 plus i multiplied by this sum for these choices. So, a is i, 1 minus r is also i, but to the power of 13, divided by 1 minus i. So, now, this is a compact, a complex number, in a, in a complex number in compact form, so I have to simplify that. But first, let me get rid of this i13. So i to the power of 13 can be viewed as i to the power of 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by an extra i. But i squared is negative 1, negative 1 to power 6 times i, which becomes positive i. So instead of i to the power of 13, I can put positive i. So this becomes 1 plus i then the denominator is 1 minus i, the numerator is i, 1 minus, instead of i13, I put i again. Okay, and then I simplify that. So 1 plus i, multi uh, by the way, this 1 minus i is completely gone. And this problem becomes much simpler now. I have i, and I multiply it there. So it becomes i plus i squared. But i squared is minus 1, and this is plus i. So the complex number c after being simplified in a standard form, it becomes simply this number. And then if I ask you, what is the real part of Z? 
Of course, that is equal to minus 1. Okay, I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.